It's past nine o'clock. Welcome back to the program. And oh, look who is here, smiling, ear to ear smile. It's Dr. Stephanie Moyen from Plaza Dental. It's because it is time for great smiles. <sighs> Isn't that nice? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> as, yes as we yes, all sigh. I've really lost and brushed and gargled all this morning. No, Jason had a very uh, valid just question. Me, that's just for you. That's oh, thank you. Yeah, for me. And, right, right. Yeah. Jason yeah. had a good question before the camera turned on. I asked uh, about water picks if they're any good. I, yeah. I didn't know if it was just, you know, like a squirt gun or if they're really effective. No, it's like a really good squirt gun. <laughs> is it? Yeah. No, they're really good. I mean, the reason is that, I mean, we all need to have, you know, everything sort of flushed out and, and mm. choose, we were talking about getting food stuck at different places um, at one point and it's I mean it's just all part of cleaning you know I mean if you get mud on you you clean it off if you is get, it powerful you know, enough to get rid of teeth, plaque or not it, it get it does get rid of sort of like what we call the biofilm so it kind of disrupts that the what how what the plaque sticks to which okay. is really good so, so in between teeth floss is still better you know it's all really good for you I mean you can't overdo it unless you're scrubbing too hard or do you know using a hard toothbrush or something like that so you really okay. like getting rid of the you know just sort of all of that water pick is really great for flushing everything out it makes you, your mouth feel very fresh and um, we've talked about this um, a long time ago but one of my favorite things is called shower floss and it's basically a water pick for the shower and it's about 20 bucks and mm. you just you I mean basically you turn off the flow to the shower and you you know oh, divert, divert, the, divert the water to the 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 water pick essentially that you can use in the shower it's I should wonderful. get one yeah. of those that's so smart well it's, 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 it's you know my, my kids use no, it where'd you say you found it you have to go online I got it online I, I don't I mean I'm sure there's there's other places that you can get it but yeah I got it online um, while we're on the subject what's your favorite kind of toothbrush Oh, I'm, I'm completely hopelessly devoted to the Sonicare. Okay. Uh, yeah, so it's a Philips um, product. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, the sound so. waves break up the plaque and, and naughty bits and it's, all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's just a great, um, I mean, it's, I don't know how much like an airplane it is, you know. Okay. <laughs> it's not a sonic boom probably as much, but it, it, it does. It, it, it gives, it's, um, you know, much, much, much more effective than anything we can do with a manual toothbrush. So, okay. yeah, it's, it's wonderful. And as important, uh, the replacement brushes are easily accessible. Everybody seems to have yeah. them. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Those are really easy. Mm -hmm. You know, you see them at Costco and all, all sorts of places. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So if you're looking at her smiles, it's amazing what a dentist can tell just by looking yes. at her smile. Because we like to do Wellness Wednesdays and keep everyone healthy uh, throughout the week. But basically, by just looking at her smiles, you guys yes. can. I'm kind sense of a Sherlock things. Holmes of you teeth. can sense right. that. I'm married to a physician, and, and right. we'll walk through the mall, and she'll try and guess the ailment as we walk. So yeah. do you do the same thing with smiles? Definitely. And you know what? It rubs off on people around me, too. You know, my husband does it now. And he and, and every time he does it, he's th he says, you know, I have the affliction. No, <laughs> you know? no, I've so. heard of veterinarians looking at a horse's mouth and being sure. able to tell how they're doing. Yeah. But you say you can do that with people, too. Oh, yeah. There's all sorts of things. You know, there's some really great articles out there that, you know, I mean, everything that happens in your body is, is correlated to your mouth. I mean, you know, we're not, we're not a closed, we are a closed system. We're all connected. Everything that happens is connected. So if you have inflammation in your body, it's going to show up in your mouth. If you ha So if you have diabetes, it's going to show up in your mouth. Um, you know, we can tell, uh, we can tell if you grind your teeth. And people ar argue with me like crazy about that. They have, we have these funny discussions. You know, do you think it's possible that you grind your teeth? Oh, no. No, no, no. No, I don't do that. <laughs> do you think it's possible that you do it at night while you're sleeping and you don't know it? Um, I mean, you grind your teeth. I yeah. do. Yeah, I was going to say, because yeah. I, I do, apparently, and well, if, if anyone does, it'd be you. Yeah. Teeth aren't too flat sets of, you know, I mean, they're, we're, you know, dentures are two flat sets of teeth against each other that, you know, move against each other like this. Teeth have, you know, I mean, mm. nice... Ridges. Yeah, I mean, a nice... Uh, I mean, they're not supposed to be flat against one another. They have peaks and valleys and, and um, you know, we call them all sorts of interesting well, we're names and that so kind of thing. Well, we're omnivores, so you need those to break You do, up yeah. yeah. We're a mortar, our molars are mortar and pestle, basically. So mm -hmm. you have, you know, a cusp that comes into a, a, um, a valley, mm -hmm. um, you know, in, in the molar, and then that's how you crush your food, and, and you tear your food with your front teeth and that type of thing. So, yeah, we're, we're essentially, we're animals, you know. What's um, something that we might be surprised at that you've been able to identify just by looking at someone's Well, mind? a lot of times, I mean, so you can tell if somebody's pregnant. What? what? Yeah. How? Um, <laughs> no, nothing going on here, Lou. Keep looking. You ain't gonna see nothing. Just looking. Yeah, no, yeah, she's yeah. perfect. She's okay. perfect. Yeah, that would that would ruin the whole. How can you tell someone? Well, pregnant? a lot of times, very early on, uh, when people are pregnant, they their their gums will bleed. 
very, I mean, just spontaneously, sort of sometimes. I mean, you know, really? they'll, have, they'll have a lot of, mm -hmm, yeah, so their gums get puffy and they bleed. Well, babies are little aliens that take over. I mean, oh, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so, come on. Um, wow. So, yeah, so, I mean, you, there, you could tell all sorts of things. It's really, really interesting. Yeah. I mean, you could, we could tell, you know, um, a lot of times we can tell if somebody has, you know, not flossed or brushed well for right. a period of time and then they well, do you it can tell right when before. They, when they walk in, can't well, they? Well, a lot of times they'll do it the night before they come in or something like that. So you can tell if they sort of like, I mean, you know, they, they could actually do some damage sometimes if they haven't. It's had. the thought that counts, though. I, I, to I completely agree. <laughs> yeah. Um, bad breath sometimes can be a sign of different things. Uh, you know, it can be a sign of um, different, uh, sometimes kidney disease, sometimes. Wow. Um, yeah, lots of different things, and, and sometimes it can be, um, we can sometimes tell if people um, drink a lot of alcohol because their mouth will dry out and they'll have, have a tendency to get more cavities, that type of thing. So, really? I mean, it's re mm -hmm, yeah, it's really, it's it's very interesting, I, you know. So, I'm sure this makes people not want to go to the dentist because they're thinking that we're being judgmental. It's not that at all. It's actually that we want to help and, we you know, we want people to keep their teeth for the life, their it, lifetime. It should be incentive for you to go to the dentist if they, if other signs of things right, going on in your body Right, it's not about trying to, out. you know, catch you at doing the things that you're doing wrong. It's about trying to help you with you know keeping your teeth forever is that common for a dentist to be like hey I'm looking around in here and, and I see Hope some other so. situations so. going I on so. or do only certain dentists do something like um, that I, you know I think it certainly it varies a little bit I mean we all have different areas of interest and so you know we have that I mean that's one of the reasons why it's nice to have a hygienist that you know really I mean you, I mean you know I mean a really really amazing hygienist which we have a bunch of them um, they can really spend more time with you and they mm -hmm. can identify things um, you know they have eyes they see and so and they also have a relationship with you a rapport with you and they can kind of um, you know if, I mean if they see something that's unusual from six months ago when we saw you before they can say hey you know it was tell me if anything's changed right. uh, you know we have patients in a lot of times that their mouth will get dry because they're on a medication and then they start um, you know um, using a lot of mints or hard candy or that kind of thing to kind of stimulate saliva well it's also sugar and so a lot of times people like even since for a six month checkup they'll have a lot of new cavities or they'll have just, just have a lot of new problems and okay. so it's um, easy to identify Make sometimes some of those wow. things yeah amazing yeah. You I can know tell by just your mouth alone. I know it's so fun I mean I know that sounds so crazy but you know what we do is so interesting and and it really is and, and it's it's wonderful to be able to help people that is great speaking of helping people it sounds no. like you guys are helping some people out oh we've had the best time we except for the tears I'm not very good at tears <laughs> <laughs> I'll explain so, what you mean well we had so we had uh, the great uh, smile uh, makeover contest and and everybody loves a great makeover right I mean that's, yeah. that's yeah. just so much fun and 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 I, I'm I'm a huge believer that if you can't smile you can't be you. you. I mean, you can't express your real personality. You can't really be yourself. And so um, we took, uh, you know, a bunch of entries. Holy cow. That was a job in itself is going through all the entries. But we picked two winners and we had them in last week and they were lots of tears <laughs> lots and lots of tears but we're good gonna, tears we're gonna give them new smiles I mean both of them um, you know had had um, some some issues that were going on that, that caused them to not be able to function correctly and chew and and smile and they're affected by it you know their kids notice um, their did families you get some notice. before pictures we did okay. yeah okay, so we'll have to so see yeah. the before, so we'll and, the after. before yeah. and after that yeah and so. how long of a process will this be um, both of them are having some implants done which is about a three-month uh -huh. process and so um, you know just because it's the best thing that we can really do do for people we I mean we can really give them teeth back that feel and look and function like teeth and um, so yeah they're getting their smiles back and they're, they're really excited so yeah. yeah we and it's so much fun I mean I it's one of the, the gals just said you know you're so sweet for doing this and I said here's the thing the time when you feel the best is when you're doing something nice for somebody else when you can really yeah. make a difference for somebody else mm -hmm. and so you know I, it, I mean they're giving us a gift too so. Wonderful. Tell everybody where yeah. your place is located. Yeah, we're at uh, on Jordan Creek Parkway. We are right by Culver's on Jordan Creek Parkway. <laughs> of course. So I know. The dance, everybody knows Culver's. Go get some custard. Right. Go okay. get a butter burger. And, uh, <laughs> okay. Yeah. And the best way to find us is our website, dmsmiles.com. Wonderful. Yeah. Great job as always. Yeah. Thank, yeah, thank you. you.